Hello all of your OS reviews. Today you're watching our video review of the QI Universal Wireless Charging Adapter for any Android or Windows smartphone. Now by Universal, we really don't see how this is really universal because it only applies to a handful of devices and there are quite a few limitations we'll explain in this review. First of all, who is this for? It's for people who want to add wireless charging to their phone but don't have QI already enabled on their device. Wireless charging is quite convenient because you have a wireless charging mat which might retail for about $30 to $40 and you simply tap and place your phone onto the mat to charge it and to take it off. So you don't have to constantly plug in a cable and to remove a cable, which improves the longevity of your phone and also makes the process of charging it a lot easier. But there are a few downfalls. For example, the QI process of charging a device takes longer. So if your Samsung Galaxy S3 takes traditionally two hours to charge, it's not going to take three hours or 3.5 hours to fully charge. So expect to wait a little bit longer for the process to complete itself. Otherwise, this particular adapter retails for about $10 on Amazon on eBay, so very inexpensive, and it arrived within 5 days after we ordered it. Construction quality is generally good, we basically have just some coils on here for the induction to actually occur, and so we have that wireless process happening, that's how the process works. And the universal version here, as opposed to a specific model which clamps onto the battery contacts inside the phone, is simply offers a micro USB tip that you plug into the micro USB charging tip on your phone, and then you can basically wirelessly charge it. So in order for this to actually work, uh, first of all, you have some several conditions. First of all, your phone has to have a removable back cover. So if you have an LG G Flex or something that doesn't have a removable back door, um, you actually can't use this because, again, you can plug it into the end and you can technically use it, but the actual wireless charging part is going to be flopping out in the open and you have to tape it down onto the phone or you have to put it underneath a case or something like that, uh, which is going to distract from the natural beauty of your device. So not as convenient, uh, your phone has to have a removable back door. Secondly, your phone has to have the micro USB tip correctly oriented. What I mean is, for example, this is an LG Venice. Um, it has the micro USB tip, it has the removable back cover, but again, like any micro USB kind of tip or any charger cable, there's only one way you can insert this into your device and that's really with the uh, top end situated like so. So basically you need the, uh, the actual cable insert like so into the micro USB tip and you apply a bit of pressure and the actual tip can then be inserted like a cable like so. But the problem is on this particular phone the orientation is like this and then you put this back uh, beneath the back cover and you notice that the actual charging tip is the wrong way over. Um, the QI charging adapter is sensitive to the degree that you can only use this particular back facing the charging mat. If you have this part facing up, it's not going to actually charge. So on this particular phone, this is the only way we can kind of plug it in. Um, so it's not going to actually work because we have to plug it in using this orientation. And so you can see it's not going to actually charge unless you bend the cable or do something like this. You, put, you plug it in and then you turn it over like this. It's going to make for a pretty awkward cable and so it's not going to work very well. But on other phones like the Samsung Galaxy product uh, lineup of phones with the orientation of the larger side of the micro USB tip facing up, facing downwards near the battery door, it's actually going to work just fine. You can plug it in and then you have the correct way facing the other way, so it's actually going to work just fine. So you have to be kind of careful with uh, the orientation of the micro USB charger, um, and you know if the larger part is facing upwards or downwards, that's kind of sensitive. So it's not truly universal in, I guess, the traditional sense. Also, if you have a micro USB charging charger uh, port on the side of your phone, it's not going to work. So if I have a charger port on the side there, I plug it in. You can see how the card itself is really wide, it's going to extend outwards from your phone so you can't insert it and also you can have a large wire hang from the side. So you can only use it again if you have the correct orientation, if your charging tip is on the bottom of your phone, and if you have a removable back cover. Once those conditions are met, which it should be for most, I guess, popular phones these days, Samsung Galaxy lineup of devices and more higher end devices tend to have the same kind of orientation for the, for the micro USB tip uh, we found so it actually does work for most devices, most commonly used Android devices. Um, you can get it set up and it will work just fine and how you do that is again you plug in the micro USB tip onto the bottom and you basically insert that into place, apply a bit of pressure just like any micro USB cable, turn it around, place it behind the back cover, and then close up the entire mechanism, 
and the next step would just be placing your phone onto the charging mat when you need to charge it. Uh, one thing we found is that because, you know, again, this is a kind of, the card itself is pretty slim, it's pretty easy to close up the back cover door, it doesn't add too much bulk, so it still is possible to close up your phone without anyone noticing, basically you have something inside. So it's still pretty easy to, again, retain the slimness overall of your device. It doesn't really distract from that too much. The only thing is that it creates a little bit of a stem on the bottom of your phone that you kind of have to watch out for. You don't want to tear that or anything like that, but it's not too much of a nuisance. You can still really easily slide it into pockets or jeans without it affecting performance too much. Again, on this particular device, it actually works really well on any Samsung Galaxy device in general. Placing it onto a mat immediately starts charging it and then you can remove it and it stops charging. So it basically works as well as phones that have QI enabled directly. So at the end of the day, I would say that the wireless or universal adapter for QI charging for smartphones kind of works, and it's only worth it, I think, if you have a device that you know for sure it works with, or you can go to a store and try out your phone first, uh, because there are a lot of ifs. It's not truly universal in the sense it's going to work with just any phone, uh, just because it has a lot of set of limitations. You have to have a removal back cover, you have to have the correct orientation, and also there's going to be a bit of a cable length kind of hang out uh, that distracts from the natural beauty of your phone. But if you are willing to kind of turn a blind eye to those slight limitations, I think that it is a pretty cool feature to have in general, and for only $10, it's always fun to kind of play around with wireless charging. You can check out our full written review down in the description box below. This has been our quick video overview here, OS reviews of the Universal QI Charging Adapter Tip. Thanks for watching.